announce this White House statement signals the beginning of the end. White House spokesman Nick Shapiro said on Wednesday that he expects President Obama to end DEA raids once he can nominate someone to take charge of the DEA. And uh, just uh, this week on Tuesday, we have four DEA raids in a single day in the Los Angeles area. And patients started speaking up. They started speaking up uh, at, at the president's website, change.gov. They started calling the White House switchboard and demanding some sort of reaction from the White House. And uh, yesterday, late last night, we got for the first time uh, in at least eight years a, a comment from the White House about medical marijuana uh, indicating that the president uh, is going to change this policy and that he expects his new nominees uh, to take that into consideration. And this is a big step forward for us because we're finally seeing some reaction from the White House uh, at the same time that Congress is moving in our direction. The DEA in California right now is conducting uh, what we call smash and grab raids at medical marijuana facilities. Uh, they'll come in very aggressively, uh, guns drawn uh, uh, in a paramilitary format. They're going to smash in the windows, kick in the doors, and uh, they confiscate all the medicine at the facility. Yeah, they came in, they had, you know, the rifle was up, I answered the door, they told me they were going to break it down if I didn't open it right away, so of course I did. And um, you know, they handcuffed me behind the back, put me on the ground face down. So Yeah, I mean, you know, we have to put a stop to that. I, I'm positive that President Obama will do the right thing. Yeah, take one phone call, two phone calls. I'll make the phone call for him if he wants. He just told me to call him. I'm calling for the president. He said, cut that shit out. Some of the DEA agents didn't get the memo. <laughs> Somebody forgot to tell them that all the rules are changing. So we're going to tell them today. So I want you to come down here and sign this statement so that we can send that upstairs for the DEA so that they get the memo and they know to stop busting medical marijuana patients. We're starting to make movements slowly but surely. Uh, but one of the things Nancy Pelosi let us know this week is we still don't have enough congressional support. So in order for our president to back us up the way he probably would like to, he needs that support from Congress. So every single one of you needs to get in touch with your congressional representative at their district office and talk to them one-on-one -on -one about this issue. When you meet with them face-to-face -face and they see how this issue impacts you personally, you change hearts and minds. Now I'm not an attorney, I'm not a doctor, I, I don't have any degrees, but my fingerprints are on a case that went to the United States Supreme Court and they ruled that police officers have to give marijuana back. So never underestimate what one person can do. But it's up to us to continue that change because it's not going to, the president is, is just going to isn't going to make the change himself. It's up to us to get involved. So I'm calling on everyone to get involved. Just a little. It doesn't take that much time to get involved. Just what you believe in. Follow your heart. Get involved in what you care about. But you can make a difference.